today I'm going to show you one of my apiaries in April. Hello, I'm Griffiths. Welcome to Gwenny Griffith. Here we do everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now I'm just down here in a place called Coombe Gwilly, down by the river. Nice little site. And it's the 26th of April, it's now five o'clock. I've just finished inspecting these bees. Good thing I was down here. Queen says in two, but the rest of them are cracking on, fantastic. And I think these bees have got the most honey on a hive or on one of my hives that I've ever seen for this time of year. If this honey flow carries on going the way it is, I'll have more honey mid-May than I made all of last year. So last year was a terrible year for us in Wales for producing honey, but so far the spring here is outstanding. Put my veil on, some angry bees here now that I've disturbed them a bit. So as I walk into the site, I've got a little swarm trap. That's a commercial. A bello, what a nice sun. Nuke, poly nuke. Two hives down here. We've got a couple up there. And down the main line then. I'll talk you through why I set the hive up down here and just get a bit of info so I'll flip the camera around. So a lot of these hives have almost filled two supers worth of honey. Nothing's full full, but two supers are majority, majority full. So some of them have got three. I think one of them I put four supers on just because the colony is so big and they wanted a swarm. That's what the colony is looking like on this side here. A couple of gaps on the side here. I've got some more hives that move down here now this week or next week. And uh, this site then will be not far off the 20 mark. So if I can get about 17 plus hives in here, I don't really want more than 20. This site will be just right then. I've got a spare stand here that I don't really use at all. That's just there for when I make splits and there's too many bees down here. I tend to put the splits on this stand then and then move them from here then onwards. So I try and keep two on there, either two or three on there, and then either three or four each on these big stands. That's the kind of spacing that I'm going for. And there used to be three highs at the back there. Obviously you lose some highs over the winter, get another one in there and uh, we'd be good to go. So a little bit about the site. This is a semi-wooded site. So literally just over there, we've got agricultural fields so used for silage and for grazing livestock, cows and sheep mainly on this farm. And this whole area is fenced off just nice. So no cows, no livestock, no people, nothing can come in here. And there's a fair bit of bramble, as you can see there, right in the doorway. So I do have to keep this down so in the season I will just walk in front of the hives here to keep this trash and brambles down and then maybe twice a year I do come in here and then strim it just to get it down got some bees flying late in the afternoon and then two at the back then and some bigger trees lots of willow mainly around here we've got some ash out the backdrop and fossil you look that ash is dying so that's dry back but every time i come here and i'm short of fuel for the smoker because that ash tree is dead there's just so many sticks underneath there which is ideal for me but yeah not the tidiest of sight but this site is a great producer it's right next to the river lots of himalayan balsam around Lots of dandelion, clover, brambles, all these trees 
for the early nectar, for the early pollen, sorry, and some nectar. There's a lot of blackthorn, hawthorn here. So it's a really great site, especially for wildflower here in Wales. This kind of site works out great. And we're on a, a, quite a big farm. And this whole site, you know, I can keep easy 25 hives down here and it's not disturbing anyone. And that's the best thing about it. You don't want people around your hives because people get stung by bees and then they don't want your bees there anymore. And then you've got to go through the hassle of moving the entire site. And they normally tell you to do that in the middle of the summer when you've got all your troopers on the hive and it's not easy to do. So always keep your sights away from people if you can. Now, a bit of access down here. This was one of my earlier sites. I did put it a little bit too far from the road, but then again, it is extra safe. And I've got that wheelbarrow now to help me out here. So I'll go from outside the site now and show you in for you to see uh, the site from the outside, see what it looks like and see how I drive here and all of that. Oh, a bit of a walk to come in here but we used the Bell Mini Barrow to carry the supers out here last year if you haven't seen that wheelbarrow click on the top right of your screen and watch that video of my review of the Bell and we put this gate in here for me to get access and then I got a nice tarmac road that I drive to this is a private farm track so no one has got access down here apart from the farmer and whoever he they let come down here that's my truck which i park there and then the gate is there so i haven't got much space to walk from the truck to the gate but there's a bit of a walk down into the site so if we follow this up you can see the fence is well fenced safe secure because what you got to watch out especially on farms sheep can be a little bit of a problem but cows will absolutely trash your hives they are so big and clumsy they will just knock everything over step through it and then panic and run through it and then you can see the site just down there so only in the spring and the winter you can actually see the bees from the road yeah or the track because the vegetation there actually doubles in height in the spring and then you can't see it well that's it that's a bit of a apiary tour in april and it's the best april i think i've ever had in my whole beekeeping career as long as i've been keeping bees i've never seen an april this good for honey production well hopefully you enjoyed that and gives you a couple of hints and tips of when you set up your own sites and let me know in the comments, do you like this site or is that walk a little bit too far and I should have bought the bees up closer to the fence but then risk the farmer getting stung here. Let me know in the comments what you think. Well that's it for this video, hopefully you enjoyed it and don't forget if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.